Good afternoon and welcome to the Subcommittee on Planning, Dispositions, and Concessions. I'm Councilmember Ben Kales, the Chair of the Subcommittee. We're joined Council Members Ruben Diaz Sr. Chaim Deutsch. Today we'll be voting on members a number of projects which we will lay over on our hearing on May 30th. At the time we recess the hearing on Land Use Item 102, the Berrien Gardens application for property located in 1479 to 1497 St. Mark's Avenue, Council Member Amprey Samuels District in Brooklyn in order for the HPD to provide additional information in response to our questions. In this application, HPD seeks approval of a new 40-year tax exemption pursuant to Article 11 private housing finance law for existing building with 77 dwelling units for low-income seniors eligible for six and eight vouchers. There's a project rental assistance contract in place. The project recently has outstanding tax liens and the owner has entered into a payment plan. The new Article 11 tax exemption will facilitate the resolution of the liens for which HUD will pay the interest and approval of this application will also establish a new regulatory agreement ensuring affordability until 2058. We have received additional information from HPD. So I'll now close the public hearing on land use item 102. We have received the information we requested. We will vote to approve this tax exemption. We will also vote on land use item 104, the culvert L phase one for properties located at 37th Street between 12th and 13th Avenue in Councilmember Landers District in Brooklyn. HPD seeks retroactive Article 11 tax exemption for taxes accrued in the si past six years during the construction phase. These homeownership units will be affordable to homeowners with incomes ranging from 80% to 100% of AMI after the developer transfers the property to individual homeowners free and clear of prior taxes. Urban Development Action Area Project tax exemption pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal of Law will go into effect prospectively. We will vote to approve Land Use 105, the Nyhop Van Buren Green application for properties located in seven blocks in Councilmember Carnegie's district in Brooklyn. HPD seeks amendments to a previously approved UDAP uh, in order to avoid punitive taxes being imposed on the future homeowners. Uh, HPD seeks amendments to a previously approved urban development action project in order to avoid a mansion tax being imposed on the future owner of 10 two family homes. A change to the project will allow HPD to reduce the amount of land debt, bringing the cumulative value of the subsidies below a level that incurs the mansion tax on any property in the city of New York with a value of more than $1 million. The future homeowners will have incomes between 80% and 130% of AMI, which equates to as much as $122,000 uh, for those watching at home. We will vote to approve, and, and I believe there have already been nine out of the ten units already uh, getting ready to be sold to uh, t nine of ten lucky winners who have just won about a million dollars. We will vote to approve land use item 106, the 501 West 51st Street application for property in Speaker Johnson's district, Manhattan. HPD seeks a new Article 11 tax exemption for a term of 40 years for fully occupied building with 22 residential units. Some tenants were relocated during the original rehabilitation and have returned to the building. The rest of the rehabilitation were marketed. Families with incomes at 80% of AMI, the tax exemption would be retroactive to 2010 since the building has existing tax arrears. We also vote to approve Land Use 103, Hudson Piers 2 for properties in Councilmember Levine's district in Manhattan. A new partial Article 11 tax exemption is sought for two fully occupied buildings with 83 units located at 1626, 1640 Amsterdam Avenue. There is an existing Article 5 tax exemption. This will be terminated and replaced with an Article 11. This will extend affordability as Article Five tax exemption expires in 2024. All units will remain income restricted at 50% of AMI with tenants paying 30% of their incomes as rent. Last but not least, we will also be voting on land use item 81, the ANCP 107 West 105th Street application that we heard at our May 15th subcommittee meeting. This application by HPD is for UDAP approval as well as a new 40-year Article 11 tax exemption to facilitate the renovation of two partially occupied city-owned residential buildings in Councilmember Levine's district of Manhattan. After the conveyance and renovation, current tenants will have the opportunity to purchase their units for only $2,500, and vacant units will be sold to families earning between 97% and 100% of AMI. All the applications I have described have the support of their local council member. We are joined today by Council Member Alika Amphrey Samuel. Uh, do you have a statement? I just want to say um, that Berean Gardens, which sits within my district, is uh, HUD 202 development um, for low-income seniors, and they have been around for many years uh, providing affordable housing, and I would um, really ask that the committee um, vote to approve of um, this tax exemption for the development, and I look forward to working with the seniors um, on the additional improvements, capital repairs that are needed, and thank you so much. I will now call for a vote on land use items 81, 102, 103, 104, 105, and 106. Council, please call the roll. I vote to approve land use items 81, 102, 103, 104, 105, and 106. Chair Kalos. Aye and all. Deutsch. Aye and all. Diaz. 
The land use items are approved by a vote of three in the affirmative, zero negatives, and no abstentions, and referred to the full land use committee. I would like to uh, thank the committee council and land use staff for really digging in on today's items, and uh, to the members of the public and my colleagues for attending. This meeting is hereby adjourned.